you've been in this league a long time. You've been through tons of opening nights, but I'm sure this year, new team, fresh start, it'll be different again. What should a hockey player be feeling like in warmups on opening night? Um, hockey players should be feeling excitement in warmups on opening night. Um, you know, just ready to get going. You work so hard all summer. Um, you know, you have a, obviously a long drooling training camp. So once you finally get to the first game, um, you know, first of 82, you're just feeling excitement, ready to go, and um, you know, looking forward for a big win. When you get tapped on the shoulder for the shootout, at what point should you know the move you're going to try? To be honest, I, I think about my shootout move uh, even when before overtime starts. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, I, I just get ready for it. I've I've got a couple go tos that I that I go on, but um, yeah, I, I'm usually you know one of the guys that would go. So I, I try to prepare myself beforehand. What's something interesting or something that you already think you know about Connor Bedard? <laughs> uh, something interesting. I guess I read he has never eaten junk food. So I saw that too. That's kind of crazy, but uh, you know, maybe, maybe when he leaves uh, home and uh, away from his parents, he might try some. <laughs> NHL might change him. Look, uh, this is fascinating, right? I think even players in this league are just kind of paying attention. They're they're interested. I mean, it's it, this happens every couple of years that a player's got this much buzz around them. Are you, are, you, are you interested in seeing how it goes, right? No, hundred percent. Every year, I, I look forward to seeing the tough draft pick. Draft top draft picks uh, play uh, you know their game and just seeing their development and uh, seeing how they they adapt to certain situations but obviously this year is uh, a gener generational talent I don't think there's been so much buzz since probably McDavid or Matthews so yeah. um, looking forward to wish him all the best and he's obviously uh, he's got to have a, a great uh, you know core around him for sure in, in Chicago when you're a west coast hockey player on a five game like two week east coast road trip what's your what's your pro tip for surviving? What's your travel tip? <laughs> a lot of sleep for me. I'm a big napper, so, um, you know, get to, get to sleep early, uh, get some naps in, and uh, a lot of good food. You know, you, there's a lot of uh, good restaurants in Indy City, so may, might as well just travel around and, and see what's out there. When you're giving a speech or whether somebody else is a teammate or a coach in a dressing room, in a pregame, or during an intermission, what are some good ingredients of a, of a speech that you'd want to hear? Something that makes a difference? Um, probably just kind of not talking about, you know, the game itself, but trying to motivate uh, the boys in a, in a different way. Just, um, you know, trying to be yourself and, you know, just giving tips that, uh, you know, just be confident and, and little things like that. I mean, it's, you don't need to say too much, I don't think, in the locker room. Guys will, guys will listen either way and, um, you know, guys are, are good motivators that way I, I feel like you talked about jumbo a little bit too I'll, I'll add patty into this next question the fact that these guys were here for so many years as players made such a difference here went their various ways for the end of their careers but now have chosen to come back in a, in a helping capacity w what does that mean for the franchise yeah it means a lot especially those two guys you know first ball hall of famers um you know, just to be around us, um, you know, we, we're going to continue to learn, continue to grow from these guys. Obviously, just, um, you know, they're coming in here and they don't have to be here. You know, they've had, you know, long, successful careers. They can, you know, go wherever, but they decide to come back here and, and help the boys out, which is huge. And, um, you know, it really makes you think, you know, what, what's going to go on after your career. But, you know, just very, very blessed and, you know, happy to have those guys around for sure. You're a veteran guy on this team, so you know what GQ magazine is, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I asked everybody this question. You're kind of the front runner with the boys here. If one <laughs> shark had to be on the cover of GQ, a lot of guys said Anthony Duclair. Uh, is it you or who is it on this team? <laughs> I guess I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like yeah. pride in your presentation, yeah, right? Yeah. Appearance, style. Appreciate that, boys. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, tell us about the hockey stick you use. It's so specific to every you know skater's wants and needs. I mean, just give us the nuts and bolts, the brand, the curve, the flex, what you do with the knob, how you tape it. How does it go? Um, I guess I use, I'll start with the knob. I use grip tape. Um, it's just a standard grip tape um, on my knob. And then I go black tape. I've, I've gone white and black throughout my career early on, but <clears throat> you know, past couple years, I just stick to black. Um, no matter what's going on and um, yeah I'll, I'll go I know some guys go toe to heel but I go heel to toe just right. simple classic I'm um, using Bauer stick um, the new the new vapor I guess the 
2x. Um, what else? I guess my my curve is called the Hosa curve, which is actually one of my favorite players growing up, Marion Hosa. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Flex? Flex, uh, 85. All right. Favorite hockey accomplishment of your career so far? Favorite accomplishment? Uh, probably winning gold for Team Canada on the World Juniors. Um, I was 19, which was my last year of eligibility for the tournament. And happened, the tournament happened to be in my hometown, Montreal, and uh, the medal rounds in Toronto. So that was an uh, incredible experience just playing in front of uh, the home fans there. Are you a Halloween guy? <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> I, I kind of have to be <laughs> during the season. Have you ever had a really good costume? Yeah, I was uh, Frozone one year, and uh, I, I was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, last one, and I know you're new to the group, uh, but you understand where the Sharks have been. What's something this team can show people or prove to people this season? Prove that uh, we can, you know, um, play against anybody. Uh, I think it's going to be very key to just believe in ourselves. Um, that's something that um, we're going to have to implement in this team. There's obviously a lot of new faces in the locker room, but once we get the chemistry, um, you know, going, uh, all four lines and, and uh, the deep pairings, uh, you know, get used to each other, I think um, if we just work hard and uh, believe in each other, we can, you know, surprise a lot of people each and given night.